meeting with us this night. We just ask you to be here, Father. We welcome your presence. We glorify you, Father. The reason we do this is for you, Lord, not for us. Be with us. Speak to us and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I have a... I've had a little bit of a cold over the weekend, uh, so my sinuses are a little bit screwy and my throat is a little messed up, but hey, uh, that's all right. We'll, um, we'll continue. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, for many years, probably all my life, God has been... Uh, grooming me for this particular time. Amen. Uh -huh. How about that? Uh, I resonate with that. Yeah. I have, uh, have been uh, working on trying to inform people for uh, probably uh, 20, 25 years, but people don't like to hear these things. And so I, it's kind of... Uh, kind of difficult at times when uh, nobody wants to hear what you have to say, but they're finding now that you can't avoid it, it's pretty much coming down. Amen. <coughs> we're realizing what we're up against. That's for sure. And uh, we realize, uh, you see, I thought before, many years back, I thought, well, I don't know if I want to, well, it means we choose what we believe, how about if I choose not to believe any of this and just go with something else. <laughs> and I thought, well, the, the only thing that's, that's stopping it is it's written in the scriptures. Mm. It's in the Bible. And if it's in the Bible, you can, <laughs> you can stake your life on it. Mm. It's in the Bible. So uh, we're realizing what we're up against um, through the Word of God. Thank, thank you, sir. So... So we can't forget what's going on. It's, we see what it is, we see what's happening, mm -hmm. and we see that we have to do something. According to the Word of God, it's telling us how far it's going to progress. Mm -hmm. They're going to be into our buying and selling. They're going so far as to give everyone as to demand that everyone have a chip in order to be able to buy or sell. If you don't have the chip, you can't buy or sell. Now people can... can Pray and say, well, Lord, bring our country back and, and straighten everything out. And You might as well say, don't let it come in my yard. I mean, what God is, what, what God is allowed to happen or what, what is written in the Scripture is what's going to happen. And so we're going through this and we're going through the point of people receiving the mark in order to be able to buy or sell. And if you don't have the mark, you won't be able to buy or sell. It won't be trendy and it won't be cool. <laughs> but you In see, we still speaking. have to exist. Now, I've been studying and looking at this for some time, and many people have many plans on what they're going to do. Some people are going to build a bunker, and some people are going to go over here and hide some food, and they're going to set up over there on that mountaintop or wherever they're going to go. But I'm here to say that by ourselves, we are not going to survive. You can build all the bunkers you want. Amen. Mm -hmm. The bunker ain't nothing. I mean, a smoke bomb down the bunker and you'd be out in, you know, in short work. Talk about it. Somebody closes off your oxygen and what, what are you going to do? Yeah. So, I got a friend in Virginia who, he probably makes 250 k a year. He's stockpiling guns and has pallets and pallets and pallets of ammo, nine mil, et cetera. What about food? In storage facilities. What about but, food? Uh, he's got no community, no, no militia, not a member of anything. Just you know, I guess he's going to have a shootout at the OK Corral on his front doorstep when they come for the guns. <laughs> That'd be short. Well, we are not going to be able to survive on our own. We can only survive together. Now, in the... Um, early 60s, uh, people experimented with community living. They did some experiments and learned some things. I myself did some experimentation on the communal living and I've lived in three different communes. I believe that communal living is the only, uh, is, 
is the thing that's going to work. The communal living, feeding one another, sheltering one another, looking out after one another is what's going to make our survival uh, pleasant. It's going to make our survival successful. <coughs> now God has this in his plan. Francis? Um, I would appreciate if we could address this question sometime tonight. Certainly doesn't have to be right now, but one of the dangers of communal living is an infiltrator or you know, a traitor in the group. But, and you don't have that if you're, you're your own household and your own family lonering it. Yeah. I'm not concerned about a communal situation falling apart because I know that with God's plan it will not do so. God already has that in his plan and it's called the first church. Jesus Christ already established the community. And Jesus Christ established that every community would have apostles and prophets. We're trying to do it, all of man's organizations, and man is trying to do it without. You can't do it without what God has put, the gifts that God has put in that to make it work. I won't have any uh, part of a, a, another organization that doesn't have apostles and prophets. God has put those in there for safety. He's put them in there for our uh, education mm -hmm. and for us to become edified and per a perfect person. We need those in that. Um, we, need the, we need the direction from God. And He has established the first church, which is what He gave this earth. The first church was His plan for the earth, and He's not going to change His plans. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And He's not going to change His plans. The first church is what He ordained, it's what we got away from, and it's what we need to get back to. Um, <coughs> we're not going to be able to keep all of our possessions. Everybody's not going to be able to afford to keep their own automobile. They plan on pricing us out of the... <laughs> Pricing us out right now, they're working hard to bankrupt the nation. You don't make the moves they're making without intending to bankrupt the nation right. and making us so poor that we have no choice but to cooperate with whatever they decide. Right. You're not going to be able to keep your possessions. You're not going to be able to keep your estate. Everybody's not going to be able to keep their own washers and dryers. Mm -hmm. In a communal situation, we feed one another, we take care of one another, we all use our talents to look out for one another. We use our uh, that that the Lord has given us for contributing to one another. <coughs> but we must have that community. I've always seen the communal situations. Now you can extend them. Uh, some of them may have been extended for some time now, but the successful is with the plan of God, which the which is his community is the is the first church that he established. So um, I would go in the direction of restoring the first church and the fivefold ministry, because we don't really ha we don't have a lot of time. God has given us His plan; we changed it. We're the ones that altered it. So we're the ones that have to go rebuild uh, it back in that direction. I uh, have had many <coughs> uh, plans that I've made over the years, and I'm starting to talk about them again because we're in the last days, and God encourages me to uh, talk about these things. A lot of times I keep stuff to myself because nobody wants to hear it. But now it's too late. It's, we're in the end times now. Mm -hmm. Time is short. We need to speak that that God puts on our heart. Um, for, I had a store in Mount Pleasant and uh, <clears throat> at one time and my goal was to start uh, was to buy a large building which is what a people could do is to buy a large building like a schoolhouse. I've seen schoolhouses going for sale for ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, very large schoolhouses. I've, uh, I know where there's a building right now. 
that's uh, hidden. It's actually hidden in the woods. Wow. No, no one is able to see it is why it's still sitting there. And it's like a, a small estate. It has, uh, I believe it has uh, two, two buildings on it. Now the buildings uh, have no roof. They have no windows. But the frame of the building is built out of solid stone. Wow. Which is two feet thick. And it's uh, probably, uh, I'm, I don't, I haven't been there in a while. Who owns it? Oh, I don't, I, <coughs> I had heard, but I didn't record it. Mm. <coughs> but I, uh, anyway, this uh, building is a, a very large building. It's two feet thick of solid stone, and there's not one stone missing. Wow. The building's about 100 feet long and about 50 feet wide. I'm thinking that in the top floor of a building like this, a large building, we could build apartments uh -huh. and help one another to build.